if you have nothing going on, your only job is to prospect and get that pipeline built, like built up, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. You don't have to worry about doing the admin stuff. You don't have listings to enter in. You don't have phone calls to make to title companies, to appraisers, to inspectors, do a reply to inspections. Your only job is to prospect and to get your pipeline full. Today we have an awesome guest. Today we have Zach Kleindens. Welcome, Zach. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it, guys. So do you always go back like three or four years or um, and then just call an area or? I have been. Yeah, I've been going back three or four years because those people that a lot of times people want to have a little break. Right. When they first list their home for sale, if it doesn't sell, they're tired of the showing request. They get tired of different people coming through their house. Um, so they want a little break. So, yeah, I, I like to go back a little bit farther, even if it's six months to a year. Right. It's still, it's still good because nobody else is calling them. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's the thing with expireds is is there's usually angry homeowners because of all of the calls that they're getting from from agents. So so definitely skipping out on the competition, I think, is a huge benefit for agents right now. Yeah, it's always the same thing. It's, hey, where were you at when my house was listed last time, two months ago yeah. or six months ago? <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Uh, what what are some common objections that you get with old expireds that maybe you don't get with newer ones? I think it's more so just, um, I mean, I've had some people who just said, hey, you know what? We had family trouble back then. We're, we're keeping it together. We're staying in the house now forever. We're not going to sell it whatsoever. Um, I don't think there's any specific objections. I think it's always a case by case scenario with that individual and what their situation is. Um, right. But I, I just think it's a lot easier to get through that initial um, like people always have their guard up when you first call them, like, Oh, it's another salesperson calling me. <laughs> um, I don't want a car. I don't want a car warranty or anything like that. Right. So you're just not a salesperson. Um, but I think the objections, it's less, it's easier to get past that guard. Right. Cause it, they're, they're not getting blown up by other agents at that point. But again, the very beginning of the conversation is a little bit different. Like, Hey, I'm taking a long shot here. Mm-hmm. Like, Again, you've had your home listed three or four years ago. This is a, definitely a long shot, but have you thought about selling your home again? It's just bringing like that. that guard down a little bit more. Yeah, and I've talked to a lot of agents on these podcasts and listened to a lot of scripts and researched a lot of things, and I don't think I've ever heard that specific phrasing before, um, which it's interesting because it's like, hey, I understand. Like, listen, I understand your struggles right now, or I understand your problem, uh, and but – in a long shot, like, would you happen to be wanting to sell your home? I think it's a really cool take on just all the other scripts that, that you would get off the internet. Yeah. Again, it's calling the, it's calling the awkwardness out up front. Cause you know, if, if you're on the other end yeah. of the phone and you're getting a, I know for me, when I get phone calls for leads from different companies out there that want to manage my Facebook or yeah. manage something else for me right away, I want to get off the phone with them. Hmm. And if I respect them because I'm in that same position, I'm making these same phone calls too. But if I have a different person call me and the conversation at the very beginning is different, like it just changes the whole, I think it changes the whole conversation. So if it's an old expired from, let's just say 2017, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, is this Haley? This is, hello. Hey, Haley, this is Zach over at eXp Realty. How are you? I'm doing well. What, why are you calling me? Good. Hey, I, I realize I'm packing you off guard. And hey, by the way, I'm taking a long shot here. I think you guys had your home listed for sale maybe three or four years ago. Is that correct? Uh, oh, yeah, we did. Okay, awesome. So the reason for my quick call, and again, this is a long shot. I have, I might have a potential buyer looking in your neighborhood or in the area. And I was just calling you and a few other neighbors to see if maybe you guys have thought about selling your home again. 